Hey there, everybody. This is Adam Harris, Senior Ambassador for the James B. Beam Distilling Company, coming to you from my home bar in Houston, Texas, to tell you that I am so excited to join you for dinner on the 24th and more excited to support an amazing cause like Dining In for Life. Uh, I'm going to bring a little Basil Hayden along with me today and when I see you at dinner again on the 24th. And what I thought I would do is show you a little cocktail that I'm going to be making in hopes that you might want to go and get some of these ingredients if you can and join along at home while we're all enjoying ourselves in each other's company in a couple of weeks. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a very basic classic. It's called a Manhattan, but uh, a lot of people know the sweet Manhattan, which is made with sweet vermouth. Not a lot of people try a dry Manhattan, which is made with dry vermouth. And then probably even fewer people make a perfect Manhattan, which is splitting the difference in vermouth between the sweet and the dry in equal parts. Uh, what I'm going to do is make a cocktail that I'm going to call the perfect season. You know, September here is Bourbon Heritage Month, so we're already celebrating Bourbon Heritage Month. And then, of course, we have the holidays coming right along the way. And I think that having a great, easy drink to make for friends at home with a wonderful bourbon like Basil Hayden, uh, which is meant for entertaining and meant for bringing people together, I think we're going to have a great cocktail that anybody can make with just a couple of ingredients. I'm calling it the perfect season because we are in the perfect season, even though it's in 2020. It's the perfect season coming up here. I'm gonna change it up a little bit by using some old fashioned uh, barrel aged bitters, aromatic bitters. So we have our basil Hayden, we have sweet and dry vermouth, and we have our bitters here. We have our stirring glass. I'm gonna put three big dashes of vermouth, right? Or sorry, of uh, bitters to get things started. And then what we wanna do is we wanna add equal parts, just about three quarters ounce of our dry vermouth, and again, three quarters ounce of a sweet vermouth. And then I'm gonna use two parts of Basil Hayden. Basil Hayden is an 80 proof high rye bourbon as part of our small batch collection. It is our only high rye bourbon. And what I mean by that is bourbon has to be at least 51% corn, and most traditional bourbons uses rye as a flavor and grain. And then we're gonna use twice the amount of rye. So we give Basil Hayden a really nice elegant spice to go along with its uh, full bodied and nice flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our ice. You notice I went in order of ingredients as far as uh, the cost there. So we have our cheapest ingredients stop ending with our most expensive ingredient. And that way, in case we make a mistake, which I luckily didn't that time, we don't have to throw out everything at once, right? So let's go ahead and put some ice in that mixing glass. What you want to do here is you're certainly cooling down the drink and it's still summer here in Texas so a cool drink is pretty necessary but also what I'm getting done here is achieving a little bit of dilution and we're going to try and get to about a 20-25% to bring down the heat of the alcohol and since this is a pretty brown and boozy drink I want to make sure that it has a proper dilution and that we have a nice chill there. So, all right, still got it. And I'm gonna use a little cherry and orange twist flag to garnish this cocktail. And hopefully I've inspired you all to go and find your ingredients and join along on the 24th and make a perfect season with me as we have a perfect evening together. I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers, thanks.